This is an experiment we did at Supercomputing 2006 in Tampa and this was the first time ever that we actually um, controlled a microscope, a million dollar microscope which was located at Ohio State University from a remote location and the control was being done thousand miles away crossing three ISPs um, and uh, we were able to actually get a user experience as though he was at the microscope uh, being actually remote at Tampa. Uh, it was a really great experience. The uh, usability of the microscope was comparable to being at the microscope. Though there were some packets lost um, that did not inhibit my ability to use the microscope. The telemicroscopy session is very demanding in terms of network requirements. What we saw was the control traffic that was going to the microscope and the images that were coming back from the microscope to the user, uh, you know, they were very intense. So the interplay between the control and video was such that you needed a close to 60 to 80 megabits per second, ideally, for the user to actually feel he's at the microscope. So uh, you needed a very high performance network uh, between the user and the microscope if you wanted to do telemicroscopy. The remote system allowed us to do a lot of uh, advanced techniques where we were able to uh, optimize the video. Uh, we were able to see the signal in the video scope. Uh, the system also allowed us to connect uh, to, the, to the neighboring system for EDS analysis. We were able to uh, position the microscope beam uh, and then also gather the compositional data. What we were able to demonstrate was the ability to use the microscope to actually perform research uh, over and above just using the microscope for a demonstration or to, uh, to send the video from point A to point B. Yeah, so I think the advanced actions Dan just mentioned, uh, the fact that they were possible uh, gives us a lot of hope that we could actually use the remote microscopy or the telemicroscopy as an a ongoing service where a part of Dan's uh, group's microscopes could be used by industry like Timken and other university researchers who can actually book time on the microscope and sit at the convenience of their office and actually control the microscopes and do some serious research with that.